you probably already know this, but if you try using an HSL adjustment to change the color of white, nothing happens. But in this video, I'm going to show you a super simple technique that lets you turn white into any color, even black. It's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm sure you'll learn a lot. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link for today's photo in the video description. The first thing we need to do is select the area we want to color. In this case, we'll use the selection brush to make a selection of her dress. But since this isn't a selection tutorial, we're not going to spend a lot of time focusing on our selection. A rough selection will be good enough for our purposes. But if you want to learn how to make better selections, I'll leave a link in the video description for our Pixel Perfect Selections course, where we take a deep dive into mastering selections. All right, now that we have a decent selection, we're going to add a fill layer. To do that, come to Layer, New Fill Layer. Our fill layer is automatically applied to just the area we had selected. At this point, we no longer need our selection, so I'll press Command or Control D to deselect. Go ahead and change your fill color to something other than white. I'll make mine dark red. As a side note, our fill layer is currently being masked to where our selection was, even though there doesn't appear to be a mask. But if we press B to get out the brush tool, then we can paint in white to add to our fill layer, or paint in black to hide the fill layer. To zoom back out, I'll press Command or Control Zero. At this point, our dress is red, but it doesn't look realistic. To fix this, we're going to use our good friend, <laughs> Blend Modes. For adding color to white, I recommend you use Multiply or Linear Burn. Depending on your photo, one blend mode might look better than the other. For this image, I like the way Linear Burn looks. And just like that, we've turned this white dress red. How easy was that? We're not quite done though. Our dress looks fine right now, but I think we could make it look even better. First, we need to bring back up the selection we made earlier. To do this, we can hold down Command or Control, and then click on the Fill Layer's thumbnail. This loads the layer as a selection. This is a great shortcut to use if you ever want to turn a mask into a selection. Next, we'll add a Curves Adjustment layer. With this adjustment, we're going to make the shadows in the dress darker, and make the highlights in the dress brighter. Then I'll deselect so that we can see a before and after. The curves adjustment is really helping to add depth to the dress. And in case you're wondering, her hair looks a little off because we made a rough selection at the beginning of the video. With a better selection, her hair wouldn't have that fringing on its edges. Okay, now comes my favorite part of this tutorial, changing the dress's color. Now that we have everything set up, we can easily change the dress's color to anything we want. Just select the fill layer, and then get out the move tool, which allows us to affect the fill layer's color. Then we can play around with the dress's color and change it to anything that we think looks good. Depending on the color you choose, 
You might want to adjust your curves to refine the shadows and highlights. Now for the final part of this video, we're going to make her dress black. To do so, let's try changing the fill layer to black. That looks all right, <laughs> but not very realistic. The reason for that is because we made her dress pure black. In real life, there's almost nothing that's pure black. In reality, what we call black is really just dark gray. Let's see how her dress looks if we make it dark gray instead of pure black. Perfect! Now that looks like a black dress. But we can actually make the black look even more convincing by adding some shine to it. First, duplicate our curves adjustment by pressing Command or Control J. Then open up the curves and reset it. Now drag the highlights node to the left until the dress is nice and bright. Then we'll press on this gear icon to open up blend ranges. If you aren't familiar with blend ranges, I'll leave a link in the video description to my full blend ranges tutorial. But for now, we just need to bring the shadows node down. This makes it so the curves adjustment isn't applied to the darkest parts of the dress, keeping those areas black. You can see that the shine really helps to make the black look more convincing. And if you want, you can keep the shine added to the dress, even if you make the dress a color other than black. I would just bring down the shine's opacity so that it's not quite so intense. Well, thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.